Here's everything you need to know about the recent dev stream that just happened yesterday for Predecessor. Not only will there be a battle pass, but there will also be a new winter theme map coming to the game. The battle pass will have 30 levels and there will be a free version and a paid version. For rank mode, there will be a second ban, so a total of four characters will be banned for ranked. For all of the NA West players, they are looking to possibly, hopefully, merge NA East and NA West into one server, NA Central, so that we can all play together and all have the same, or disadvantage, I guess you could say, for playing together, you know. Um, this definitely will help a lot of West players get games and not play the same people over and over again. I'm talking about you, Revenants. We know you've been, you know, uh, uh, hyping this up. Well, not hyping this up. You've been talking about this for a while, and we feel your frustration, and hopefully, probably they're going to look into it, and they're hopefully probably going to actually make a central server so that we can all play together and have a fair chance at, at each other. They are releasing EA Early Access skins, but variants of those skins so that you guys can have them in the uh, in the... People who have the early access skins can keep their variants, but there will be different variants of the EA access skins, and they're probably pretty cool. My favorite is the Murdoch one because he looks really rad with like that armor and it's like silver and bronze. You just have to see it to find out. At 22 minutes or 21 minutes, I forget, um, River Camps will be upgraded. They're bigger, stronger, better. And actually, you can, uh, if you take someone down while they have a uh, a buff, you actually steal the buff. So if, if um, if, let's say if you're mid lane, right, and the Bellica took the attack speed buff, if you kill Bellica, you get the attack speed buff. Now, they haven't said whether or not if you get their timer or if you just get it fully. They haven't said it yet. Probably you just get, like, whatever they had it. And, yeah, they are going to be easy to kill, though. They're going to be really beefy bugs, so watch out. They also adjusted the projectiles. I didn't think it was a problem, but I guess it is. So, you know, cool. For the ore prime and fang pit, they dead ass just cut one of the walls in half so that people with verticality like Skylar or maybe have like Gaia Greaves or Galax Greaves, it'll be a lot easier for you to like hop into the pit. And they also like removed the, the ring, the, 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 the whole pit ring. So that's gone too. So... Not sure how I feel about that one. One of the hugest things that the chat was on about and I was on about at first was the implementation of a teleporter. This teleporter will be on opposite of the map, so duo lane behind the gold buff and um, on off lane behind the cyan camp, the XP camp. And at a certain time period in the game, you can have access to the teleporter. You go from off lane to dual lane or dual lane to off lane. But the thing about that is it's a visual. You can hear it and you can see the teleporter work. So you can't be like surprised too much by any enemy like ganking the dual lane. You are you will see it coming at a point. I think this is great for uh, for off lanes to come over to Fangtooth and like help with that. But I've, we, I want to see an action first before I give a first hand full like yes or no about it pretty much hey for all my brawl mode fans they are letting you guys pick five of any hero there's no restrictions so if you guys want to five iggy and scorches versus five iggy and scorches it could happen at this point just let us have custom brawl and have a good ass time in that and then like a little less important news we are gonna get emote overhead Emotes, whatever the fuck. Overhead emotes. We're getting we're getting that into the game, right? They're gonna cost some are gonna cost amber and platinum. Some are just gonna cost just platinum. Um not sure off of that because some of these things, I'm looking at some of the guys right now. Um a kill steal common wraith emote overhead is like three thousand amber and two fifty platinum. Do not spend platinum on fucking overhead emotes please do not do that but uh yeah this was a very lengthy video sorry for like five minutes of just yapping but this is everything you need to know for the new 1.02 update well wait no 1.2 1 1 1.2 updates they haven't announced when it's gonna come out but it's supposedly soon 
So watch out.